Hello everyone, this is Lam Insani of LS Web Apps. In today's video, we're going to have a look at how to write to files, okay? So we're going to write from a, to a file from scratch or actually update an existing file. So I'll show you how to do that quickly. So in the last video, we used the fopen um, function to create a resource for a file. Then we use the fread to um, actually read the file. But this time we're going to use the fwrite function to write to a file. But um, the key will be in where whichever mode we are setting. When you set a specific mode, um, in this case, w that just reads um, writes to a file, but then it doesn't update the file. If the file exists, it just sets it to um, empty and then overwrites everything in it. But if you use the um, a flag, it just updates the existing file. If the file doesn't exist, it just assumes that it's a new file. It creates it and then um, writes whatever you want to write to it. Okay. So first, let's deal with the w case. So we have a resource and um, we have some content. So in this case, we are not um, returning some content. We have some content that we want to write. So let's say content equal to, and we say some content for my file. Okay. So next, what we want to do is use the fwrite function. Let's say fwrite. And um, just hang on with me guys we're going to inspect the file first before we write to it so the second argument you want to send to f right is whatever content you want to write okay so let's remove this as well so first let's inspect the file this is what's in the file line one two three so um let's go back in our browser and then we refresh this as you can see i've refreshed it so now let's go back and read that file um remember what i told you that what w does is it just deletes everything in the file then overrides it okay so let's go back in here as you can see some file.txt now has some content for my life for my file okay so that's what the w flag does um for you when you use it to write to a file so next let's just take this file as well and put in some content there let's say um actually let's leave this here some content for my file that's fine and um we'll change this flag now instead of from w we're going to change it to a Next, let's change this some content for my file. Let's say um, some content to update my existing file. Okay, so in this case, now when we refresh the browser, um, it should update the file as opposed to um, deleting everything in it and then writing as fresh. So go back here. As you can see, we had some content for my file. Now we have some um, that content being appended to the file. Okay, so that's the gist of writing and updating files but just one thing i want to bring to your attention is um these functions the f write function if you use the a or the w flag uh, for the resource when the file doesn't exist it just creates it from scratch okay so we're going to go ahead and delete this um, some file.txt so let's delete this so let's go back and change this to w in this case we want to write some file some to the file so let's say some content um that should do for now so go back in the browser refresh let's go ahead here and um as you can see now this file has been created i'll drag it in the text editor here as you can see it has some content in there okay so um let's go ahead and try that for um the 8a flag as well which is supposedly supposed to update a file but if it doesn't file that the file exists it's going to um, create it so we'll say some file2.txt so we'll say with some content to update file okay so back in our browser when I refresh I go back in my file system check as you can see that file has been created I drag it in the text editor and its content says some content to update file Okay, so there you have it guys. That's how you create and update an existing file. Thank you for watching. I will see you in another video. Cheers. Bye-bye.